Hello everyone, my name is Yola Rosi. I'm the head of programs at the festival. You have just watched The Sleeping Beast by Yak Kilmi, who I have here with me. And we'll be talking a little bit about um, the ins and outs of the film to get kind of a better picture of, of what you just saw. <laughs> so hi, welcome. Hi, <laughs> thanks. So um, the film has elements of kind of, you know, m morals and kind of almost like a fable-like quality. Can you talk about how you why was it important for you to kind of add that to the film and like how did you structure the story? The story of Sleeping Beast is uh, um, kind of inspired by uh, the, floor, <laughs> the Lord of the Flies mm -hmm. by William Golding. Uh, the book uh, I read when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. maybe 17 years old. And... Um, it really uh, made a, a big impact on me. So it was more than 30 years ago. And then, then I thought that, uh, you know, this could be a story I would, uh, I would love to uh, kind of remake. Mm. And then um, some 10 years ago, 20 years after I read uh, The Lord of the Flies, I uh, I got an idea for a story, a uh, dark story where kids uh, form their kind of, uh, let's say, circle of, uh, kind of secret circle mm -hmm. where, they, uh, where they make their own decision what is right and what is wrong. Mm -hmm. So uh, then I developed the story I uh, found I found a writer uh, that really um, liked the, liked the idea, and we had a really good match with with the uh, writer. And she uh, she she uh, developed the characters, so it was really kind of uh, teamwork. Mm -hmm. My idea, her characters, and. Um, and then, then it really took time to, um, to, to find the right ending mm -hmm. for the story. But, uh, but, but really, uh, that's the, you know, yeah, you mentioned Fiebel. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, it, it, uh, it's, it's <coughs> deep there. Yeah. And you mentioned dark as well. So you always had this idea that it was going to be quite dark, which is unusual for, I, I, it's not maybe what people first think of when they think of children's film. So why, why did you have this idea? Um, for me, um, the children film, the genre is kind of a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm I'm not a big fan of children films mm -hmm. uh, that concern the uh, you know the sweetness and uh, and and light mm -hmm. uh, topics. Um, I'm not a big fan of um, boy meets girl stories. Uh, first love is not my topic, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, I really, I, I, I feel more intrigued by uh, these like moral topics, mm -hmm. what is right and what is wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and um, and uh, the story of, 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 of kind of hero mm -hmm. and knight, mm -hmm. um, a boy, Kid who uh, who needs to you know um, struggle with problems that you know kids usually don't don't need mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. And because um, I think maybe for an American audience they might be a little bit taken aback. Like, but but how have children in your audiences reacted to the film? Uh, f uh, what's f it's a funny fact mm -hmm. that um, when we. Uh, before the uh, cinema release, uh, the distributor in Estonia uh, tried to find the um, you know the um, um, right rating for the mm -hmm. film. So uh, in Estonia, we kind of decided with the, with the uh, distributor that uh, it would be like not recommended under twelve years, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, during the uh, you know screenings and Q and A's, I found out that the film is more scary for parents and grown-ups than for kids. So the I would say the right age would be uh, eight, mm -hmm. eight years, eight plus. And what was it that so the parents were more 
that kind of underestimated their kids almost or their reactions? Or I, I would say that, that uh, for kids, it's more like adventurous film. Okay. But for parents, it's um, it's kind of uh, it's kind of horror. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the like worst case scenario, like yes, what happens. <laughs> because yeah, we yeah. parents we know what yeah. uh, what to be afraid of. Right. Mm. And I heard an anecdote about how that you had to change the ending of the film. Can you talk about that? Um, yeah, actually, we. Uh, we, we tested uh, the the ending that we we first had, mm -hmm. and we uh, we casted uh, twelve kids, um, you know, between eight no, no sorry uh, nine and thirteen, and uh, we got really like <coughs> furious reactions, furious feedback because it, uh, the kids told us that you know they they need justice. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no justice in the, uh, in the end. So then we 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 uh, we tried to fix it as much as as, as we could, <laughs> and then uh, then later I have learned that uh, you know the justice is something that the audience, uh, whatever age they are, mm -hmm. uh, the the audience needs. The, mm -hmm. the, the, the really the viewers uh, when they uh, you know face the kind of artifacts, mm -hmm. uh, you know the. Um, in whatever form, mm -hmm. is it novel or film or theater piece? They really, you know, it's it's kind of it's a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you you really need the, um, the the happy kind of happy ending mm -hmm. that you know the things in the world are or like an or ordered conclusion or yeah yes. some kind of yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. So then yeah we, we uh, first uh, we had uh, more open end mm -hmm. and then. Uh, then yeah, after we we got the feedback from kids, <laughs> then we, we okay. tried to you know uh, have the justice. take it on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah, so speaking of the children, um, can you talk about what the actors were like and how they how you worked with them with the script? Like, could they? Yeah, how did you work with them on on set? Mm, first, we uh, we made casting. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I don't remember the, the 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 exact number of, of yeah. kids that that we casted. Uh, it was definitely uh, uh, more than five hundred. Mm -hmm. mm, and then, uh, so we had like different rounds, and then we uh, then uh, then we had uh, in in last round we we had some like twelve mm -hmm. kids. And I really really had uh, the um, I had the image in my mind. So what? What types mm -hmm. of kids we are we are looking for, and uh, I'm, I'm really I'm really grateful that mm -hmm. uh, that uh, that that we had uh, more than one option mm -hmm. for for many roles. But uh, Christian, the main character, mm -hmm. he was the only one. And are any of them like well known? Actually, there was a, there was a one girl in the film who who had played in, in TV series, mm -hmm. um, Laura, who is. Uh, this uh, little blonde manipulator. Mm -hmm. uh, she she uh, she had she was the only one who had acting experience. Mm -hmm. She had played the really nice sweet girl in a, <laughs> in a TV series. Mm -hmm. So I I, uh, I told her that uh, listen I, I give you <laughs> a, a, like real role. <laughs> How old is she? She's very. Uh, she was uh, eleven. Oh okay then. yeah, yeah. eleven. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, people, there's that famous saying, you know, don't work with children and animals, but you dove straight in. Like, was it? Yeah, actually, I, I, yeah. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a, uh, of course, it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. You need to be tough. Mm -hmm. You really need to be uh, kind of convincing, like n no weak moments, mm -hmm. because the children, they, <laughs> they, they sense it okay. when you don't know. Yeah. And when you don't know the answer, you know, you, you just, you know, you, then you <coughs> tell them that you know, come on, let's uh, let's let's find together. Mm -hmm. Let, let's find the answer together. Mm -hmm. um, since you know, I'm uh, I'm a father of four mm -hmm. kids, and um, the the oldest kids are seventeen already. Mm -hmm. So uh, I kind of know how to um, mm -hmm. how to uh, deal with kids. <laughs> um, um, I think we we uh, we, we really um, you know uh, did good job, mm -hmm. but uh, but before the shootings we we had uh, one and a half month of rehearsals. 
Right, really I was going to ask because they, they seem very yeah. close and comfortable with each other. Yes, okay. yes. So it's, uh, without rehearsals, mm -hmm. uh, it would have been <coughs> mm -hmm. impossible. <laughs> And can you talk about the setting where where the film took place? The you know how much did you have to like? It's, how did you find it? And uh, yeah, we uh, first we had um, a different uh, location in in mind, but uh, the owner of the location, kind of uh, abandoned factory, uh, mm -hmm. didn't allow us to to go there. Um, kind of like in the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but 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 that was real. So yeah. we uh, we Let's didn't get you. any permission to to, yeah. to shoot there. And then we we, we panically started to find a mm. better place, and we found even better place, like 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 <laughs> much better place mm -hmm. than, than the 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 uh, the location that we mm. had scouted before. And the owner was really the the owner of the new place was. Uh, I would say that it was like nicely ir irresponsible guy, <laughs> because <laughs> it was so. Uh, like the place was just dangerous. Yeah, I was going to ask, like, how did the you ensure the just safety? Just dangerous. Of yeah, but 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 we ensured that. Yeah, yeah. We, we had a construction team that okay. uh, really ins ensured. Yeah, yeah. But but uh, but uh, the first glance, it was like, oh come on, should we <laughs> bring kids here? Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, I that that's good that you know in 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 Estonia mm -hmm. I would say that in like former eastern europe uh, mm -hmm. there still are you know people who are more relaxed than in in, in many other Health places health and safety in Western <laughs> regulations yeah. yes, you know. <laughs> mm. but but nothing happened mm -hmm. like every everybody you know yeah. um, you know uh stayed alive <laughs> and um and then the, uh, the the place where the kids uh, live, the mm -hmm. village, uh, we we found it in um, in um, different place, mm -hmm. like two hundred kilometers from the other place. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, since we had uh, quite long time for preparations, mm -hmm. we, uh, we we used mm -hmm. like every every day mm -hmm. of this like mm -hmm. long period. So we we were pretty well prepared for mm -hmm. the shootings. Both kids and the locations, I would say. And then I also want to ask you about the character of, of Elmar. Like, how did you develop him and, and work with the actor to kind of... Because he's kind of a... Actually quite a sad character. You know, you just kind of feel bad for him. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was the intention to... Uh, uh, to uh, create a controversial mm -hmm. character. A drunkard. Mm -hmm. uh, alcoholic, but... Kind of this, uh, mm, what's the term? Eremite. Uh, the, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, lo lo lonesome oh, yeah. artist mm -hmm. uh, that uh, has a lot of rumors around him. Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah, th that, that's the, uh, that's the, that, that's a, you know, a story of, of um, like small, Communities mm -hmm. where uh, sometimes you know rumors basically define your uh, fate. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah and uh, so so, so th that's why you know he he really carries the heavy burden of uh, of, of, of of rumors. Yeah, and um, what's it called? Uh, yeah, I, I'm ju I've just been like also looking back at the films that you have made, and you've you made another film called Christmas in the Jungle, which is also. For I know you don't like children's film the label, but it's more maybe child friendly. Let's put mm -hmm. it that way. But then you also have a documentary, My Father the Spy, which is also available um, at this festival online only, and The Dissidents and and some other films. And there's it's you know it's interesting because they're also they, to me they seem very different. And uh, what to you is kind of the guiding motif, or if there is any? I would say that my film are not different at all. Um, I think they are pretty simple. Mm. Uh, uh, they uh, they are my films. I uh, I really put a lot of energy and uh, mm. and work on on them. I would say that they they are my films, mm -hmm. even they they might see might seem different. Uh, okay, Christmas in the Jungle was, mm -hmm. was, a, was a family adventure film. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Where we, uh, so that was my my first kids film, mm -hmm. um, f 
for a young audience. And I, I even didn't know the rules of the genre. Uh, <laughs> we had machetes and machine guns there. <laughs> <laughs> and then later, distributor <laughs> asked, are, yeah. you, are you, you know, okay, are you yeah. crazy? <laughs> Could you cut off the uh, cut out Some all the, the uh, you know weapons. the guns? Yeah. <laughs> I said no. It's it's impossible. Yeah. Um, it's because machine guns. It's, it's fun. <laughs> Kids love machine guns. Yeah. So yeah, th but you know, then then yeah, you know, I tried to do my best to you know get them off as yeah. much as possible. <laughs> but so you, basically, what you're saying is they're all kind of expressions of yourself and things that you're mm. interested in at the time, and therefore. Mm. And so, what is what is the next thing that you're interested in? Um. I would say that uh, it's like youth, kids and youth topic. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, I don't know what, what's, uh, what's, what's the perfect audience for mm -hmm. kids and youth films. Uh, or is there any? Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I really try to break the, the, the rules. Mm -hmm. and, you know, like breaking the rules of, of this Keith and youth, kids and youth film genre, it's, uh, it's, it's, something that I'm, mm -hmm. I'm really intrigued mm -hmm. and and do you is there a lot in Estonia for in like in Estonian for local like pop, okay. I'm not, not pop culture only but like content that's accessible to youth or is are they just all looking to English language content like do you feel that that's something important that you're doing or is that just you don't really have that mission you're just focused on what you're interested in I would say that you know before a Corona before mm -hmm. the pandemia, uh, the local kids' film were um, definitely uh, get a box office hits, mm -hmm. and they they, I hope that they still will be, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, um, it happened to um, Sleeping Peace that you know mm -hmm. we just released it right yeah. after you know the end yeah. of pandemia and people were not you know. A lot of films are suffering. Used from that, yeah. to uh, go to mm. cinema, but 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 now I would say that you know we, we released it maybe uh, half year too early in the cinemas. Mm -hmm. but, but anyway, so it, mm. sure you know it's, uh, that's the kind of business mm -hmm. um, idea between mm -hmm. making kids films. That you know you definitely you you would have audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the local audience. Yeah, that's great to hear. Yeah. Yeah. And and but then the my 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 other goal mm -hmm. or purpose why I make uh, why I'm interested in kids and, and youth mm -hmm. themes is that you know I have kids. So you want them to have something yes, good to watch. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Jak, for for coming and talking to us today. Uh, the festival still runs online until November thirteenth. So please. Um, Keep watching and and um, I hope you enjoyed this movie and come back next year. Thank you so much. Thank you.